The podcast you're about to hear was made with Anchor. Make your own podcast for free at anchor.fm. Hi, this is Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome to the No BS Coaching Advice Podcast. I like to spend a few minutes a few times a week just giving you some suggestions for how to improve life, the universe, and everything. And this is um, another one of those segments where I talk with you about where you should focus your energy. Should it be on improving things or on your strengths? Now let's get going. Now, here's a fact. If you focus your attention on the things that you're bad at, the things that you are less competent at, the things that you struggle with. What you're going to find overall is that a lot of energy is going to be taken up moving the cruise liner. uh, And it's going to be an exhausting proposition. And the amount of effort that's going to be taken to do that is going to exhaust you from really succeeding. So, you know, using the idea of physics again, If you're in a situation where you're working so hard to get better at something that you're not good at or not particularly interested in, your opportunities to excel become compressed. So let me just use my hands for a second. This is where you're excellent, and over here is where you're not so good. So you're going to spend a lot of effort to move up a little bit, where if you use that same effort, you'd be off the charts. So I'm not saying don't try to improve on the things that you're less skillful at, but I'm trying to say to you, and I am going to say to you, that the idea is to focus on the things that you are really extraordinary at and take them exponentially higher. At the end of the day, you can always buy someone to handle this side of the equation, but you can't buy someone to handle this side of the equation. This one's on you. This is the one that's going to make you stand out from the pack, not by becoming more like everyone else in the middle. You want to be the individual who really takes huge leaps, who really stands out from others. Let me give you an example. You know, there was a person I, I worked with some years ago, uh, you know, frustrated professionally. Uh, he was an individual who was in a management position, getting reviews that were at best ordinary, um, struggling, uh, struggling at home, struggling at work. You know, it, it's hard to face the fact that you might be average. And I really pushed him hard uh, about um, focusing on his strengths and trying to make those um, exquisite, uh, to make his strengths really uh, stand out from all others. But that's really where he, he focused in on. It wasn't that he didn't still have these problems, but you know they just remained in the shadow to the bright light of, uh, of, of the goal that he was showing. You can be doing much the same thing and really standing out from all others. Take bold action by focusing in on your real gifts in life. And again, don't ignore the others because you could be hurting others with those. Pay attention to their needs too, but don't spend so much energy on, on the negative and on proving that. Spend most of your energy focusing on being extraordinary. That's today's show, and I hope you found it helpful. If you did and you're interested in my coaching you, email me at jeffalpin at thebiggamehunter.us. And in the subject line, put the word coaching. And in the body, give me an idea of what you'd like to work on with me. I want to be clear, this is going to be a first-time consultation. I'm going to do it on a complimentary basis for about 15, 20 minutes to get a flavor for whether or not I think I can be of service to you and to give you an idea as to whether or not you'd like to work with me. Again, Jeff Alpin at TheBigGameHunter.us. I hope you subscribe to this show in iTunes or Google Play and have a great day. Take care.
podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.